Hello, in this video we are going to see how to install WordPress, right? So I'm assuming that you have already created the required database and you already have your username password handy. I have kept it in a text file over here. The details, it should be ready with you. So to install WordPress, go to wordpress.org download section and download the WordPress. I have already downloaded WordPress over here in my download section and the next thing that we need to do is we need to simply copy and uncompress it into our document root. So here in downloads I already have this. So now what happens is that this particular directory where we want to copy this that is our document root. where www html this is where we need to extract the wordpress okay so to copy it inside this we will change the permissions so that i will be able to copy it either you can copy it as administrator or temporarily we will change the permissions so from the terminal what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply say sudo chmod 777 and HTML. Okay, this is I'm doing it temporarily. What exact permission should be there? We will see in some other video. This is just a temporary measure on the local machine. If you are on an actual server and other things, these permissions are already handled for you, so you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is since I have changed these permissions, everyone can read right to it. What we will do is we will go back to our downloads. We will copy this and go back to HTML and now I will paste it here. Okay, now here we will extract our WordPress. So WordPress is extracted here now and you will notice it is inside a directory. Now you can either run it by saying localhost slash wordpress or in an actual situation you will be using wordpress completely as your website purpose. Uh, it should not be like that someone is visiting your website and they have to type your website name slash wordpress every time does not look good. So whenever someone visits your website directly they should get the interface whatever you are using. So here what we will do is we will simply go into this. We will make sure the hidden files are visible if any. Then let's just copy these files outside directly into our document. Okay. Now with this our setup is ready and now simply we can go to our browser and check this out. So just reload this page or call localhost again. Okay, so what it is doing is it's picking up the index.html and we have to work with index.php. So this index.html which is being showing over here, let us remove it. Here this is the index.html, I am going to simply delete it or you can copy paste it somewhere else. So I am just deleted it and let's reload this page okay so here wordpress installation has started it is saying welcome to wordpress and before getting started you need the following things handy okay so here let's say go and now it is asking me the information this is the information which i have database name wpdb database username wpdb user and password is whatever the password is. so wpdb then wpdb user and the password whatever is the password okay so give that password over here host name is going to be localhost and table prefix table prefix is something that will get added in front of every table that wordpress creates so you can change it to something unique 
or say test or something like that or you can say ab whatever is there. this helps us to use the same database for other purposes also so that wordpress tables are identified uniquely many different content management systems use this interesting concept so let's submit this now here it says we are ready and run the installation script so here the installation script has worked properly now it is asking me for a site title so wordpress demo give a username which you will be using for logging into this site and working with it so that will be the administrator of the website so let's say dexter and here they have generated a password fine so you could either copy paste this or you could simply use another password fine so i'm just using a weak password because this is a uh local setup don't do it on an actual setup that's a confirm use of weak password your email id now in a real life thing this is uh, the email id on which you will get information about updates and few other things so this should be a proper email id so what i'm going to do is temporarily i'm just going to say dexter at not in this email id is also going to be the email id with which you can recover your passwords okay now we are going to say install wordpress so here in the backend wordpress is creating the tables and other things and we have now successfully installed wordpress now you can log in give your username or email id that was associated with it and the password log so here our wordpress is installed we are directly logged in into the wordpress dashboard this is the place from where you are going to manage wordpress and this is your site how it will look right so here a lot of things will be done as we start working with it in the basic wordpress installation is done Okay